Okay, here we are, Murray 12 horse industrial commercial. Uh, it's a little Briggs 12 horse. Here's the trouble the steering was all wibbly wobbly and uh, you couldn't keep it in a straight line. So we cut off this piece that I can't find now. It goes on top of here. Here's a crummy bushing up in there. It's split out there so with a little bit of welding and shaping we'll bring that back same thing goes on the bottom this guy here goes on the bottom down there so so we'll get new ones of these new ones of these these are the wheel bushings and they're all you can see there's not there's not much there to uh, keep it straight uh, 9 16 half inch take the spindle off um, the drag link is there goes in there these are fundamental ideas that uh, help you anticipate what you're going to run into. But the worst of it was that upper, oh, there it is. There's the upper plate. It was welded onto there. So you got to take your wheel, your cutoff wheel. and That's your worst problem if you don't have tools. That's a, a welded position, unlike the other side, which is a cotter key and that's that's this one's in nice shape it's all nice and solid for for the purpose of mowing the lawn i wouldn't do 90 down the highway but it's good i'm not going to go crazy on this whole thing it's an older machine uh just started it up for the first time in three years muffler fell off got that there we get some gasket back on and some bolts for it um it runs and drives and uh and the next thing after this is the spindles are locked up pretty good. Uh, bearings don't look bad, but sitting in the weather for so many years, it just takes its toll on bearings. They, they will just be a bear to loosen up. But sometimes you get lucky once you get them spinning, they, they'll work for a season. And then, then you have to buy that whole mandrel there that uh, connects to the blade. and uh, I haven't looked, but I think they're like 20 bucks a piece, maybe. All that being said, uh, it's an old Murray. It's not worth putting a lot of time and effort in, but I couldn't resist figuring out why it drove like a clown car. So when I get some new parts, maybe I'll put another uh, episode in here. And As I use this YouTube more frequently, I start to understand the subtleties of it. The the, uh, the jack and the jack stand are, of course, overkill. In case anybody's thinking they have to get, you know, all this heavy duty equipment, it's uh, it's all of 50 pounds on the front. So you can pick it up by hand and set it on a wood block. You can do the same thing. So that's it for now. Enjoy. See ya.